Should you take prebiotics and or restrict FODMAPs while treating SIBO? Hi, this is Dr. Ruscio, and this question has recently resurfaced and come into light, and I'd like to give my perspective on this. Um, there, has one, there has been one published study that has looked at uh, co-administering prebiotics compared to co-administering probiotics while treating SIBO with antibiotics. And what's actually been found to be the most effective is the uh, co-administering a probiotic uh, with antibiotics in the treatment of SIBO. That's been found to be more effective than co-administration of prebiotics. So what this means is if you're treating SIBO and trying to have the best treatment results, it appears that taking probiotics while treating the SIBO is going to be more effective than taking prebiotics and we could uh, speculate more effective than incorporating FODMAPs into your diet. And this is the, the item I think people are the most confused and concerned about. Should they or should they not eat FODMAPs while treating SIBO? Um, again, this study shows that the most uh, benefit would likely be derived from uh, consuming probiotics and that the prebiotic piece, either by prebiotic supplementation or by prebiotics in your foods, by eating high FODMAP foods, is probably not as important as a probiotic piece. So the, the very straight answer is the FODMAPs probably aren't that important when we look at them next to the effect of probiotics. Um, now, there are many studies that reinforce this position. And I, I know that there's, there's been some expert recommendations about incorporating FODMAPs into the diet, but I try to make my recommendations uh, data-driven, not necessarily expert-driven. And, and while I, I have very much respect for some of the uh, leaders in SIBO research, I think that there are, um, you know, there are practice differences that need to be minded here, meaning we have you know, different philosophies on, on practice. So, um, you know, coming back to the issue more squarely, um, having or not having FODMAPs during SIBO treatment, in my opinion, is probably not that big of an um, not that big of a deal. Um, what I do personally is I have patients follow a paleo type of diet, and I don't have them restrict FODMAPs unless they notice fairly dramatic symptomatic relief by avoiding FODMAPs, then I have them avoid FODMAPs to whatever extent they need to to help with their symptoms. Now, again, the, the questionable piece here is will eating the FODMAPs help enhance the effectiveness of the treatment? And again, when we look at the one study that's tried to ask and answer this question, it looks like probiotics are actually more important than prebiotics and FODMAPs. Now, when we also look at, and coming back to my earlier point about the other studies that reinforce this, we see quite uh, compelling data for use, the use of probiotics in treating the symptoms of IBS, which have a, a very much overlap with SIBO, and, and much of IBS may be caused by SIBO. So we see that piece there. And then to even drive that further home, we see in a handful of clinical trials that probiotics can actually be a standalone treatment for SIBO, and they've been shown to reduce gas levels and help to uh, correct the SIBO breath test. So when we look at all this data together, the take home I think is this. The most important thing out of all the things you could do along with SIBO antimicrobials or antibiotics is probably taking a probiotic. The, the FODMAP and the prebiotic piece is interesting, and it's one of these cool theories that we sometimes get super excited about, but it's important to use science to help us determine if a theory is something that we should actually uh, follow, or if the theory is just something exciting and cool and maybe a little bit off the mark, or maybe there's a better uh, form or treatment. So in this case, the theory of should you eat lots of FODMAPs or take prebiotics while treating SIBO, uh, I don't think that's fully uh, been supported, and I think the better evidence suggests that you'd be better off using a probiotic during SIBO treatment. If at some point that changes, I'll be the first to uh, conform with that recommendation, but I think a very practical approach, which would be to have someone eat a healthy diet during SIBO treatment and only restricting FODMAPs to the point to which they need to for symptomatic improvement uh, would be advisable. And so for most of my patients are able to eat FODMAPs during treatment without any problem. Some patients have a slight restriction based upon 
what they've noticed uh, they don't tolerate. And it's, it's really, I think, as, as simple as that. So hopefully this helps. And um, I will put one reference in these notes. And we will be doing either a follow-up article or podcast with all the other supporting references. I apologize for not having them in this video, but I just wanted to get this video out there to get this concept out there to people. And again, we'll follow up with a more robust scientific support for this argument shortly. Okay, this is Dr. Ruscio. Hope this helps. Thanks.